continuing uh, on our theme of uh, Jesus for Enlightenment, um, I'm going to share one more teaching today. The practical aspects will be when we launch our um, masterclass on uh, self-realization or uh, living the awakened life or whatever we end up calling it. Okay, so this is um, actually taken from uh, my book, The Third Jesus. Be in the world, but not of it. Applying the teaching. Through detachment, you master both inner and outer reality. So in this case, Jesus is asking for detachment, which isn't the same thing as indifference or passivity. This is an important distinction. You're more than flesh and blood. You are more than the flesh and blood person you see in the mirror, a person created by the world around you. Your actual being has its source in spirit. And through detachment, you shift your allegiance away from the physical world toward the spiritual. Since you're spirit first and individual person second, the world is actually in you and exists in you as sensations, sense perceptions, <clears throat> which are sense perceptions, which are interpretations of sensations, thoughts, memories, and projections. You are more real than the material world and closer to the creative source. Okay, so we have exercises uh, to do this as we'll go through our master classes. But let's examine this one statement, be in the world of not, be in the world, but not of it. I explained a little bit. So once again, detachment is not passivity. It is also not, uh, not uh, non-involvement. It is uh, also uh, not indifference. Detachment simply means being um, detached from your self-importance, from your self-pity, from your stories, and having the deeper understanding that the context, the meanings, the relationships, and the stories that we call karma, uh, and we're attached to them, which recycle as almost a cognitive and perceptual constraint or prison, prison or lens or limitation or belief. Karma is always considered a bondage. And why is it considered a bondage? It limits our possibilities for creativity limits our possibilities for imagination, limits our possibilities for um, creating a new reality, both of the body and of the physical world. So karma is nothing but the recycling of the conditioned mind, which we've said so many times. Sensations, images, and feelings, and thoughts interpreted in the same way is karma. So karma is the past, it's the history of the past, determines the situation, circumstances, events of the present, but how we interpret them <laughs> is a function of a deeper reality. So what Jesus is teaching here is very important, okay? So when you detach means simply, then we take the stand as witnessing awareness. I am the witnessing awareness in which sensations, sense perceptions, images, feelings, thoughts come and go. And the world and the body are a reflection of that. A reflection of that. Reflection doesn't mean that they are caused by that. Just like a mirror doesn't actually do anything but reflect what's happening. So too, the mirror of awareness, when you take a stand, I'm witnessing awareness, then it reflects your particular state of consciousness, 
which you experience as sensations, sense perceptions, images, feelings, and thoughts, and how you interpret it, the context, the meaning, the relationships, uh, the story. That's all karma. It's the past. The prison of the known. But what Jesus is saying, others have expressed also, uh, take a stand as witnessing awareness, and one day even that witnessing awareness will fall, and what will be left is pure awareness, the ground of being, which is the being of the universe, infinite, formless, without cause, irreducible, fundamental, incomprehensible, unimaginable, and yet the real you. That's the mystery of you. So others have also said it in different ways. Uh, you know, the Christian uh, theologian, Thierry de Chardin, we are spiritual beings having a human experience, not human beings having a spiritual experience. That is what it means to be in the world, but not of it. Be in the world and not of it is the ticket to infinite freedom. Infinite freedom for what? To create. To create personal and even collective reality. The world may not shift, but the world you live in will have shifted. So we'll be doing exercises on this and meditations and reflections as well. Thank you and have a wonderful day.